being said, man, let's get into our next connector whip. This connector whip is about a gentleman who has been hunting and searching, looking high and low, running up in press conferences with Canelo, all types of stuff, trying to land a big time bout, whether it's Triple G, Canelo, you name it, around the middleweight division. And this is none other than Demetrius Andrade. Andrade has now vacated his 160 pound belt and is now chasing a title eliminator in the 168 pound division. Of course, one could assume that this move is targeted at becoming a mandatory to Canelo. So he figured, hey, Canelo's not gonna, you know, he ain't gonna come down here and fight me. He's gonna try to duck and run or whatever, whatever to stay away from fighting me. How about I'm gonna chase him up to 168 and I'm gonna beat everybody I need to beat in order to become a mandatory to one of his titles and get that mandatory activated to get that fight. So Q, do you believe this move by Andrade in leaving the 160 pound division and going up to 168 and chasing a title will land him the Canelo Alvarez fight. What I think is, um, if he, if he goes up to 168, and I think him and Benavidez will be on a, a, a crash collision course. A collision course, mm-hmm. and um, yeah. I think that'll be a way not to have to deal with both of those guys. One of those guys, whoever wins out of that fight, I feel like will be in position. You know, obviously. Um, mm-hmm. that's, that's the other name there. And, um, you know, two undefeateds, you know what I'm saying? Fights that, that everybody's clamoring to see. Um, right. I'm, I'm excited about Andrade moving up and just, just taking the destiny in his own hands because, uh, it didn't look like anybody was going to come that was going to fight him at 160. Mm-hmm. So he's pushing the envelope. He's pushing the envelope. Like, like, like a lot of Canelo fans have been saying, I, you know, I get him the credit to say, these guys need to fight each other instead of chasing Canelo. You know what I'm saying? Because mm-hmm. Canelo, you know, he he like the damn rabbit around the Greyhound track. Everybody chasing him. Right. And, you know, mm-hmm. giving each other a pass. Even though I say both of these guys have – they ain't been – you know, these two boogeymen themselves. So, you know, it just uh, – it'll be an advantage to, to Benavidez just because it's his division. You know, uh, mm-hmm. so um, I'm excited for it. I'm here for it. Yeah, man. It's a, it's a connect, I think, because I think the winner will eventually, you know, We'll be able to call out, and the people will call for what I think. Yeah, you know, I, I'm, I'm gonna say that it's a uh, uh, a connect as well, only because I, I gotta tip my cap to Andrade for uh, for chasing him up at the 168 pound division because it's clear it's clear as day at this point that Canelo's not going back to 160. Uh, that uh, if he was going back to 160, then we might possibly get Triple G Canelo three. But at this point, he's staying at 168 or higher. So I, I salute Andrade for going up and, and trying to earn it the hard way. He's trying to go and knock out. He's knocking. At this point, because Canelo Alvarez is the money man and he has the right to pick and choose and right. pick his opponents how he wants to, at this point, he says, you know what? I'm going to knock at the door of these sanctioning bodies. And at this point, they won't be able to, to deny me being a top-level opponent and being a mandatory, so I'm going to go that route. So I, I feel like that is a very, very, very feasible option for him, and I think that can possibly land him the Canelo Alvarez fight because while Canelo Alvarez could say no, no, no all day long and get out of my face, if he can convince the sanctioning bodies to respect him as the mandatory and activate it, I do believe that a Canelo Alvarez has enough of that pride in him that he's not going to vacate a title to not fight a Demetrius Andrade. So no I feel like this is the smart, the smart political route uh, for Andrade to take. So, man, I, I agree with it. I'm there for it too as well.